Well, we found a place that can sell us quail chicks already sexed, so we know that they're going to be female. It's okay. Oh, good chicken. just wanted to let you know that we're going to be getting some new birds here at Ivy Acres Homestead. No, you're not being replaced. As you know, our experience with quail hasn't been very good so far. All seven of the quail that we hatched in our incubator turned out to be male, and they fight with each other, and they don't lay any eggs. Well, we found a place that can sell us quail chicks already sexed, so we know that they're going to be female. It's a little expensive, but I'm going to be using money that I've made selling your eggs. No, this isn't a negotiation. This is just what we're going to do. No, we don't have profit sharing, and we can't contribute to your 401k plans. Tell you what, I really appreciate all of the hard work that you girls put in here at our, at our homestead. How about a little bonus to smooth things over? Here's a flock block for you. be getting 10 new quail chicks tonight. They'll be living in the brooder recently vacated by these baby chickens.
That way, we can keep them in my shop where they'll be a little warmer until we can move them out to the quail hutch. We picked up the quail last night and I had forgotten just how small newly hatched quail really are. There's a nice variety, different colors. It'll be fun to watch them grow up. I'll try to give you a better look at the brooder setup that we have. It's basically the same that we used for our baby chickens. This blanket is just there to keep it a little bit more warm for the chicks. The heat lamp is warming it up in there, but we didn't want all that heat to just escape right away. So the blanket just, just helps it keep the temperature up a little bit more. I've got these supports here to basically to keep the heat lamp in place and this lid is there just to keep the blanket right off of the heat lamp itself. Inside we've got their water and their food. The little heat plate chick warmer that we use for the chickens is actually out in the Mini Cooper right now, keeping our chickens warm because it's getting pretty cold outside this time of year. The food and water is on this raised platform that just keeps everything from getting all mucked up with the, uh, with the pine shavings. I'll turn the heat lamp off for just a little bit so I can put the camera down there without the red glow so you can see the birds a little bit better with all of their different colors.
As you can see, they're running around, eating. Looks like they're exploring a little bit. They're off to a good start. One last quick update. At least one of these little jumping beans has proved that she can jump right out of that first brooder setup that we had. We tried using two blankets to try and batten down the hatches as it were, but still there were a couple of times that I came out here to a very loud cheeping quail right on the outside of the brooder. Just last night I checked in on our young chickens out in the mobile coop and they are huddling for warmth but they're not really using that heat plate chick warmer anymore. So I've replaced that really large heat lamp with the smaller heat plate chick warmer in order to be able to put the actual lid on our brooder.